Hi all, thanks for joining me. This is a Canvas Studio tutorial and today we're going to take a look at how we can add videos to our media library. So we're in our Canvas portal. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on our Canvas Studio icon in our global menu bar in the lower left there. So there's the studio icon. We're going to click that guy. It's going to load up our library. And our library is a place for videos that we both create using the webcam recorder and the screen capture recorder. But we can also add other videos. If we have videos that we've already used, like if you've made a video with QuickTime on your computer, uh, done some other screen capture work, uh, you can also actually take YouTube videos that you're going to use with your students on a regular basis and kind of index them. It doesn't pull the file into Canvas, but it sort of catalogs it. So you can kind of keep track of a lot of the media that you're using. So here we're in our library or Canvas Studio library up here. And our focus today is on this button in the upper right hand corner. So this is the add button. When you click the add button, you'll see a pop up window up here and you really have two choices. We've got the happy cloud here where we can drag and drop or we can click the browse file and it'll open up a file explorer for us. Uh, this left side is for taking, um, like I said, videos that are on our local machine and pushing those out into the cloud um, to host on Canvas and to be able to use and drop into our courses. Over on the right, uh, as I mentioned before, this is the other option. You can take YouTube videos that you use um, commonly and you can add those to your collections. Again, it doesn't actually move the video there because we don't own those videos, but what it does is it helps us to kind of keep track of uh, instructional content maybe on YouTube that we want to use uh, in our courses. So we have to be careful about the guidelines and make sure we're adhering to the policy, the Anchorage School District policy when we're using YouTube. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and, and try the left here. So I'm going to go ahead and click Browse File, uh, and I am going to upload a file from my computer. So I have under Videos, I have a variety of different things. Um, this is a graphing a point tutorial. So um, I show students in the video how to uh, graph on a, in quadrant one on the X and the Y coordinate. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And once I click it, it's going to be uploaded. And here you can see in the upper left the uploading icon. It's gray. It's got a progress bar. This is a pretty quick um, tutorial. It was just three minutes, I believe. And so we've got graphing a point tutorial. It is processing and the resolution will get better as it's processing. So that's um, one option. Uh, let's go ahead and, and um, pull in a YouTube video. Um, I do some animated um, animation and modeling classes. So I'm going to click the add button here and we're going to go to YouTube. So I need to drop a YouTube URL in here. So I'm going to switch over in my browser to YouTube. I'm going to call up a sculpting tutorial video. Here it is. And I'm going to select that video. So here we've got the video and I'm going to right click on the video um, or control click on a Macintosh. I'm going to choose copy video URL option, which puts that onto my clipboard. I can then go back over to Canvas Studio and I can click inside of this field and I can use either command V or control V on a Windows machine to paste the URL in here and click add. So let's watch what happens when we add that. So it looks like the owl video lives here, but it really isn't. It's really a reference or a pointer to that video out on YouTube. But I have it here, so now I can keep track of it with all of my other media, and um, I can drop that more easily into classes. So here's my, um, let's take a look back over. It's done processing the graphing a point tutorial. And so you guys can see that here. It grabs kind of a thumbnail um, out of the video and attaches that. So you can see it kind of caught me mid lesson there as I was drawing the X and the Y axis on some graph paper. So, all right, so hopefully this is helpful for you. There are two main options to add media to Canvas Studio, my library. One, we can actually upload files into um, from a local machine into Canvas Studio. And the other option is to sort of catalog uh, YouTube videos that we might use frequently. Uh, we could then take these and put these into collections. So for instance, um, if I click collection in the upper right hand corner, I don't yet have a collection for my animation and modeling class. I can create a collection for that. Click create. And there's nothing in it here, so we can go back over to my library, 
I can grab this video here. I can click my click my options button and choose move to. All right, and then I can hit the drop down menu and choose animation modeling collection. That will file that video into my animation and modeling collection and I am all organized. Okay, well that'll do it for this video. Thanks so much for your time and attention and I will see you in the next video.